Here we are at Blanca Senior Home to visit Bill Lottie. Uh, people have been asking Dixie how Bill's been doing, so we put this little video together just to uh, uh, show everyone how Bill's doing and save some time for, for Dixie so she can spend more time with Bill. But here you see um, Dixie and Bill attending the free concert in the park just about two blocks away from the senior home and uh, enjoying themselves, it looks like. And here you see Bill <clears throat> enjoying the deck in the back of the senior home and meet Adriana, the owner of Blanca's senior home. What you're going to see next is the condition that really concerned Adriana about Bill's quality of life, for he had suffered from this open sore on his heel for three months, and which prompted her to introduce Dixie to the concept of stem cell nutrition. And this picture was taken uh, around July 1st, and you can see that just being on the stem cell nutrition, the next picture you're going to see was taken on the 15th, the day that they went to the park to listen to the uh, free concert. And there was a dramatic improvement. And then you're going to hear in Dixie's own words how this all came about. So uh, I'm going to let her explain to you what's going on, but uh, because of the, the video, I had to put this up first because I couldn't squeeze it in later. Well, he's better than he was. Um, not totally back to normal, but he's able to get up with his walker and walk around. Um, he... He... Went into the hospital the end of September, uh, was in about a week. They said he was too weak to come home. He needed to go to the rehab center. He went to the rehab center. Uh, a couple of weeks later, he was doing better. They did a home visit to see if he was able to come home on his own. Uh, they decided he needed to have more practice on going up and down stairs, so he was doing stairs practicing at the rehab center when he apparently had another stroke and um, he had part of his vision was uh, impaired. He was seeing double vision and um, he had a a sagging lip. They said it was called the eight and a half syndrome. And so he went back to the rehab center, or he stayed at the rehab center actually, and uh, he did make a short visit to the hospital. They said there really wasn't anything they could do, and he went back to the rehab center. After a couple of months there, I think January 13th, they said our insurance would no longer cover because he wasn't making enough improvement. And so we brought him to Blanca's senior home where he was able to have 24-hour supervision. I was not able to leave my job. Uh, we wouldn't have insurance if I left my job. So. So he came here, he had a sore on his heel that just didn't seem to want to heal, and um, I was given some information about uh, STEM Enhance, and he went on to that after a couple of weeks of convincing me that um, it was something that would help him, and I said that... Um, Nothing would make me happier than to see him improve. So um, he went on the STEM Enhance, and I think it was about uh, at the most maybe a month before it was uh, turned around and healing. He'd had it for two or three months prior to that. It was a sore that just wouldn't heal, and the podiatrist told us that uh, 
he had to have um, hydrogen peroxide on it twice a day and keep it dry and keep his feet elevated. We went on the Stem Enhance and it immediately started improving and is now almost totally healed. And um, he's doing much better. He's able to get up and walk around on his own with the walker. Um, I feel a little in uneasy about him doing it on his own, but uh, he's definitely stronger than he was. And uh, we're hoping that he will continue to improve. And Can we see the, the wound there on the leg? Yes. Uh -huh. see what that looks like. See, Bill, you're going to be famous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this Talk is about that. Maybe going to be hard to see. Well, we got good light here. It'll work. Okay, where is it? It's right here. Oh. Okay, let's see if I can turn the light on here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see in this light. There we go. We got some light now. So talk about it. Uh, it was, um, I think the doctor said it was three centimeters, or three millimeters, centimeters deep. And he said he didn't care how big around it was. The important thing was that it not be deep. And um, we couldn't seem to get a hold of uh, getting it to heal up until after he started on the stem enhance. And then it started uh, closing, and there's no um, open sore there now at all. It's uh, pretty much healed over. There's no recession in the wound. And uh, we're very happy, and uh, it undoubtedly has to do with the stem enhance which uh, caused his own body to make more stem cells that were able to help in the healing process yeah and uh, we're very how's, happy about it how's the circulation then too adriana told me that he had a doppler and they said that uh, the circulation was doing better um, used to be we would try to get blood for a blood test because he's a diabetic and has been since he was 30. And uh, we couldn't get the blood to come out of his fingers, but now it uh, comes out rather easily. He still yelps when I poke him with the, the poker to get the blood out, but uh, the blood is definitely... Uh, flowing better than it was. And that happened about three days after he started Stem Enhance? Um, yeah, it was pretty fast, actually, that um, it started improving. Because Adriana told me, she says the third day she poked him and then went to get the test strip, and then, then the blood was running out. Normally she had to milk the fingers really hard yes. to get some samples. Yes, it's definitely flowing better now than I think it was before. Now, what would you say to your friends? Because I know it took about a month from the time I introduced it to you and sent you the videos that you didn't watch. And then one day, one day I just popped over and you were here and we talked. And um, <laughs> I mean, it's not unusual. That's what almost everybody does. So what would you say to your friends? Well, um, I've actually talked to a couple of different people that I felt could also benefit from this. And... Uh, one of them told me as soon as I uh, got a chance to send her the email so that she could get the information and she would get back to me if, if, um, if she felt it was something that could benefit her. Um, one of the people I work with also was interested in it and uh, she's having knee problems and I told her it sounds like a uh, remarkable, um, I don't know, I guess it, is it considered a drug? I'm not even it's sure. A, it's a food. Okay. It's just simply a food. It's been consumed for over 30 years. 
um, in its wild form, but nobody really knew why it, why it did what it did. But mm -hmm. they concentrated the active ingredients, and and you saw the results. Yeah, you know, right. the foot wasn't getting any better right. before, and now it's like, whoa. Yes. So I'm encouraged. Uh, I'm hoping he'll do better. We're um, actually going to try increasing the dosage. Um, we've seen a fair amount of improvement with uh, two capsules a day. We're going to try, I believe, with the four capsules a day and see if that um, benefits him even more. And uh, we're very hopeful that it will. All right, sounds good.